We are working on Mr. Bill Spoonbill Circumvent. So I'm Cosm Colat. <laughs> I believe we got to this stage. And this wee arp. I'm not sure about this arp yet. I think um, I might play around with Jesse's chords because we're all, all of these chords are major sevens, so we should just be able to steal one of these and pitch it. So if I put this here. So we go from E to Like that first note of the chords doesn't really suit so maybe I'll just cut that out and I don't know what we can do we could reverse those it would make a nice tail and we could use it to lead into the new chord so let's reverse them all yeah nice so we're gonna have to shift that one to here and um, I'm getting a bit lost here. And this one to here. This one to here. I don't know, it might work. Hmm, maybe it would have been better how it was. Let's get away with this one. It's interesting, even though I can't sing in tune at all, like when I hum it, even if it's totally off beat, it kind of helps me. Interesting, it adds something, I think. I'll keep it for now. Should give that its own audio track. Um, I'm going to choose texture mode. I think these would be good leading up to the second snare, which was here. Mm, needs to go a little bit further and bring them back. Maybe. Yeah. I'm going to give it a reverb, very, very short, and we'll make it a convolution.
create a lay. Ah, oh, we'll do it in um, beats mode. I want to see what happens if I EQ this, uh, not with an EQ3, an EQ8, before the verb, and just cut everything in the mids and highs, in mids and lows. Now let's bring it up and see what's left over. back to the first snare. And we can even give it a <laughs> more of a, a fade in. I just reversed it again. Yeah, let's just go with that. Um, so we'll reverse leads back. Change your plan, guys. Whoa. I kind of like it. It's almost like a like an HUD sound from a game. Change a few more things here. What have we got here in this kick snare trigger track? see how Ableton handles convert drums to MIDI for this loop. Let's have a look. Okay, don't think this is going to be very accurate. Let's make that one the kick, kick, kick. Let's just take that loop. And see, this is the loop. Drag it out. I think that could be cool. Is this one coming through? I put my own drums in here. I think I'm going to go 808. I think I'm going to change up the bass completely. Remember, we're just an ideas phase still, so. So I might throw all of this out. And we'll go for a clap. Oh, 
That'll do for now. Around this one. Turn the bass off. What if we bring the kick across to when the notes come in? Why are we still getting a kick there? It's a little bit strange. That hat is no good. Oops. Okay, bear with me. Drag this out, drag this out. Or delete these notes. So we'll bring this down an octave and now we can bring all these up an octave to get that sub coming through. Interesting, some interesting ideas there. See you on the next one.